Hey everyone, this is Joe with Southeastern Frontiers. And today I am in Yellowstone National Park backpacking. Jacob and I are backpacking the Specimen Creek Loop Trail in the extreme northwest corner of Yellowstone National Park. And we're doing a side trip up to Shelf Lake as well and the Skyrim Trail. So should be awesome. It's gonna be four nights, five days out on trail. Let's see how we do. <laughs> To escape the summer heat in Alabama, Jacob and I traveled to Yellowstone National Park in August for a week of hiking and backpacking. We spent two nights in the front country doing day hikes and visiting the famous tourist attractions, followed by four nights backpacking in the Specimen Creek area in the extreme northwest corner of the park. We started at the Specimen Creek Trailhead right off the Gallatin Highway, north of West Yellowstone. Day one consisted of a short two-mile hike to the Specimen Creek Junction campsite, the only campsite on this trip where we could have a fire. The next morning, we continued six miles up the Specimen Creek Trail, passing through forests and open meadows, passing the Specimen Creek campsite along the way. After passing the trail to Crescent Lake, we started up a steep 2,000-foot climb to the beautiful Shelf Lake at 9,200 feet elevation, where we stayed at the Shelf Lake West campsite. On day three, we hiked from the Shelf Lake along the Skyrim Trail past amazing views, some knife edge ridge walks, and a couple of animal sightings, until we reached Bighorn Peak at almost 10,000 feet of elevation, marking the high point of our trip both literally and figuratively. We then returned back to Shelf Lake the way we came along the Skyrim Trail. After dinner that night, we hiked back up to the Skyrim and watched a most beautiful sunset. The next day, we left Shelf Lake and descended down to the valley bottom and then hiked our way back up to Crescent Lake, where we stopped and had lunch and cooled off with a swim. We continued from Crescent Lake up and up, past small lakes and through beautiful meadows, on a long climb over a pass to a high viewpoint looking off to the north before descending down and spending the night at the beautiful high lake at 8,790 feet of elevation. Finally, on day five, we hiked all downhill from High Lake through an old forest and across beautiful meadows. Eventually, we returned to the Fireburn Scar area and back to the area near our first night's camp at Specimen Creek Junction. The views here are amazing. After wading across Specimen Creek, we hiked the two miles out to the trailhead at the Gallatin Highway where we started. This was an epic hike with no serious bugs and amazingly beautiful weather the entire time. Entering Yellowstone National Park. All right, we got our permits. We are, we are going to be camping. So excited. Yellowstone National Park. We entered the park at the West Yellowstone entrance, and we spent our first two nights camping at the Madison Junction campground. All right, we are at the Specimen Creek Trailhead, and uh, we are about to set out. We had to make sure we had everything because we will not be coming back here for several days. Yes, we are there. Yeah. We're going, yes. We are, we are there. We're going to WE1 tonight, the uh, Specimen Creek Junction. That is all the further we're going tonight, so it's a very easy first day. And we will go from there. Lots of warning about bears because they are common here, and we have our bear spray. Hey, right, Jacob? Yep. All right, off we go. Specimen Creek Trail. Right off the bat, the wildflowers are beautiful. Just gorgeous. Yeah, you really could. We're hiking along a Scree field here. Well, the mountains at the end of this valley look pretty, uh, pretty rugged.
we're continuing this direction. A lot of uh, downfall from fires here. Uh, all the trails been cleared. Downfall happened long ago, it looks like, but out in the open here. Fork in the road. That would be, ah, the Sportsman Lake Trail. Yep, up to High Lake. That's not the way we're going, though. We're, we're heading up to eventually Shelf Lake tomorrow. We have found our campsite. There's the bear pole and the food prep area. This looks like camp for the first night. It's a really, really nice spot. Or at least very pretty. The vert is still out on whether the sites are good. Seems maybe slightly uneven, but I guess we will see. We have set our tent up here in the shade of a mountain. The sun is about to set. <laughs> uh, you can see all the old burn stuff here. The, uh, the food prep area is across the meadow over there. So you got to keep some distance between you and your food in bear country. So we're over here. Going, going, basically gone. They call it Specimen Creek, and there's just petrified wood just in the river. Crazy. Jacob uh, picked up this rock here while he was making the fire tonight and uh, said, yep, we are in a volcano. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Piece of pumice. Huh. All right, supper tonight is chili, so that's what we're eating. It's pretty tasty. I don't know if it's chili. It's more like refried beans with chili sauce powder in it, but hey, it's pretty good. Now that I've eaten something and not quite so hangry, I'll give you a little tour of the camp here. Our tent is way down there. There's a little clump of trees. You probably can't really see it, but it's down there. And we're up in the food prep area. We have a cable here for the bear pole, which is up there. That's where we hang our food, so the bear can't get it at night. And uh, Jacob has a nice little fire going here, and he's cooking up another round of chili, so that's good. It's cooling off. It was kind of warm this afternoon, and <laughs> warm for here. Not near as warm as in Alabama, though. And uh, the sun hasn't set in the most of the world, just on us. <laughs> you see the sun up on the sides of the ridges up there. Very pretty. Another stone that turned up in camp is this one. <laughs> That's a nice piece of petrified wood right there. Check that out. So uh, this is the Specimen Creek Trail because there are very nice specimens of petrified wood along it. Um, up in the hills here especially I hear. But uh, like anything in the National Park, you cannot take fossils with you. They stay where you find them. So this one stays here by the campsite, right where I found it. Good morning! It is day two on our backpacking trip in Yellowstone National Park. It is a beautiful clear morning. A little chilly, there's a little frost on the grass this morning. It was clear all night so there was some radiative cooling. Um, it's not really temperature that cold but uh, it's chilly. Wow, it's beautiful this morning. We are filtering water. All right, we are all packed up and ready to head out. We're gonna start up the trail. We got about six miles to go today, up to Shelf Lake. 
So off we go. Jacob's looking at this chunk of rock that came down off that cliff up there. Sure I can find any wood. It's like a ancient pyroclastic flow, which means a, a mud flow, mud and rock flow off of a volcano. Check out the wildflowers. This place is just like a garden. It is beautiful. Look at those. Well, we're out of most of the burn area, I think, and uh, it's just beautiful. You go through forest and then little meadows like this. Very nice. Trees are giving some shade, so it's nice and cool for hiking. Wow, so beautiful. We just crossed the creek here, looking at the view up the valley. Spectacular. We have come upon campsite WE4, is that right? Speci yep. The Specimen Creek campsite. We're just gonna check it out, we're not staying here. Yep. WE4. And water's back that way. This is the view from the food prep area. We stopped here at a little stream crossing and uh, refilled our water bottles and are taking a little break. We have come to the intersection. To the right is the trail to Crescent Lake and High Lake. We'll be going that way in two days, day after tomorrow. Yeah. To the left, Shelf Lake and Bighorn Peak. So Shelf Lake's where we're headed tonight and we'll stay there two nights. So two miles left to go that way. Beautiful wildflower. We're getting up high enough, I'm starting to see Indian paintbrush. That's these red flowers here. And these are pretty too, beautiful. The wildflowers just don't stop on this trip. Uh -huh. Wow, so many colors. This is like a kaleidoscope, this is just gorgeous. Right well, we're starting to get some views. As Jacob said, you'd think you'd get something after a couple thousand feet of climbing. And that over there, we're pretty confident that now is Sheep Mountain. And uh, Shelf Lake is right in front of us. Yeah, man. Oh, man. Shelf Lake. Woo. Oh, it's very nice. All right, we have reached Shelf Lake. Now we just gotta find our campsite. Here we go. WE7, it says, is this way. All right, we're hanging our bear bag right up here. And this is the food prep area for our campsite. And uh, the lake is right behind us. Isn't this spectacular? Holy cow. 
our campsite is going to be right down there in the foreground, right by the water's edge. Uh, I'll show you that in here in a minute. Whew. This is awesome. Worth the 2,000 foot climb, don't you think, Jacob? I think so. Taking very few pictures or videos today, but we made it. Climbed all day today up to Shelf Lake. Have our tent right here, right on the water. Super, super nice. Jacob is going for a swim in the lake. So our food prep area is up there in those trees. The lake is over here. And our campsite's right down here nestled among these trees. How's that for lakefront property? Drying some clothes on the laundry tree here. And right down here is where we get to the water. Good morning! It is day three of our Yellowstone backpacking trip and today we are leaving most of our camp set up right here at Shelf Lake and we are just taking only what we need to go up and explore the Skyrim Trail. So today it's all going to be about views. We've left our tent here. Jacob had to take the trekking poles out so it's collapsed but all our stuff's in the tent and we've left all our food up in the food prep area which is up there. Um, in the bear bags. So all we're taking with us is lunch, snacks, and lots and lots of water. Beautiful morning this morning. Warmer than expected. Time to get going before it gets too hot. All right, we're setting out, and there goes the trail. Off up to the sky rim, which is the, uh, the rim up there you see around the lake. Gained a little altitude. You can see the lake down there. We are almost to the ridge line. <laughs> right there. Woo! <-hoo>! Yeah. Yay! <laughs> On the ridge line. Yeah, that's the marker right here for Sheep Mountain, just as you get up the rim. You just wander you off wander that way. Wander off that way, and theoretically, there's red spray paint I saw on some trees. Yeah. Uh, but not really a trail. Lines, you kind of just follow the, the meadows and follow the ridge. Okay. Yeah. We are now leaving Yellowstone National Park, entering is the way we just came from. And we're going that way. Yeah. We're actually following right along the border of the national park. Look at the peaks off in the distance. That's the direction I think we're headed. Oh, I see our trail on the top of that peak on the <laughs> right there. Yeah, 
I'm afraid a climb's coming. I'm afraid so. <laughs> yep. That's what happens when you ridge walk. Uh -huh. All right, well, downhill for a bit, I guess. Ooh, just came out into a view here at the saddle. Spectacular. Let's see what's on the other side. Nice. Well, here we are, summit one of three today. There's the marker. starting down off this peak and look across the valley you see the trail going up the mountain on the other side that's where we're headed the trail is basically a knife edge here do not take a wrong step Just noticed off to the east here there's a little bowl or cirque in the mountain there and that is crescent lake which we're going to hike past tomorrow and then we'll go in a, the pass to the left of it there and uh, around heading for high lake very cool except we have to go all the way down in that valley to go all the way back up there <laughs> catch our breath and we looked up and went oh my gosh <laughs> Woo! Do not fall down that slope. How spectacular. We're getting up to the slope, close to the top of this one. Yeah. We're at our second summit. Technically not the summit of this mountain, but good close enough. <laughs> uh, and the trail goes off that way. Got some little bit of new views from this side of this mountain, off in the distance there. I think those are part of the Gallatin Range too. So we're heading that way. The trail is petered out. I'm guessing not many people will come this far. Um, we're on the trail on the map and there's really nowhere to go but follow the ridge line here. So we'll just keep going. I see it ahead. All right, that's what lies before us. One big mountain. <laughs> nothing left to do but summit. Yeah, nothing left to do but summit. This is the first time we've really seen the north side of Bighorn Mountain. There's little spots of snow if you look carefully. The Skyroom Trail continues over there. You see it, Jacob? Yeah, you can see it go all the way. Yep. I presume it follows yep. all the way down, yeah. Yeah. We're not going that way. <laughs> I think there's elk back there. Saw something moving in the trees. Yes, there's a little herd of elk. There they are. Changed our mind. We think that these are bighorn sheep, just a female with calves. And we're some several calves here anyway. I think what's throwing us off is they're just starting to grow their their horns. Yep. Yep, that's what they are. They're mountain sheep. Yep. Cool. Super. Check it off the list. Now we see this side of Black Butte and the top side too. Spectacular? Yeah. We're not even to the top yet. We made it! <laughs> Woohoo! Nine thousand nine hundred feet. Oh. 
Holy crap. Let's get a view of this. There's big sky out there in the haze. There's some, looks like smoke haze out there. Oh, it's looking north. Coming around to the northeast. East. Southwest. South. Oh man. Southwest and west. That is pretty amazing. There's Black Butte from the top. And way down in the valley down there. You can kind of see a bunch of trees laid over. That was from that forest fire. That's where we camped the first night. I can almost, I bet I can see our campsite. Amazing. It's a little hazy today. There's smoke in the air from wildfire southwest somewhere. Oof. Uh, from the north, maybe from Canada. On that ridge down there, you can see the trail we came up on. That trail follows the ridge along there, goes over that little summit where we stopped and rested earlier today, then goes down and around and descends over the edge back there, you can't really see it, into Shelf Lake. So that's where we started today. This side of the mountain is uh, sheer, as you saw in earlier views of it. So. Don't want to get too close to the cliff. <laughs> you can see some mountains in the distance through the haze back there. Very, very cool. Register. We got to write yes. our names in it now. at the turn off <laughs> and honestly there's just no trail either way so I see an orange thing over there but go away <sighs> here's the peak of this mountain the one right beside one right beside black or bighorn mountain and uh, that is sitting somewhere up there came over here to check it out but now I think I will I think I will head back all right we are about to head back one last view from the top of Bighorn Mountain the haze is cleared up a little bit off that way so you can see big sky a lot better than we could before All right, we are steeply descending down the mountain. <laughs> Very steeply, yes. All right, we have descended from way up there to down here. Nice breeze here, so we're cooling off. I like it. All right, we got a little climb ahead of us. We are back to that first summit where we rested at before. And uh, now that the sun is to the west, you can see the mountains off to the east a lot more clearly than you could before. Right in front of us here is Crescent Lake. I can just barely make it out. And the pass we'll take to go over to the other valley is right next to it. And this big mountain back there I think is Electric Peak, but I'm not certain. I'll look that up when I get home. Awesome. All right, we are back to that nice entering Yellowstone National Park sign. Oh God, that means Shelf Lake is right around the corner. That's a long slog back. Whew. Toes are hurting, a lot of downhill.
Jacob continued on to Sheep Mountain while I returned to camp. Woohoo! Shelf Lake is in sight. Right there. Just got to go down to it. WE7, that's our campsite. Whew, that was a long day. Not lying. Man, that was a tough climb, but it was spectacular. Whew, time to go clean some things up and relax. I don't know if I've ever seen this before, but right now I'm so high up that the grass has disappeared. And you're just walking over stones. They're not held together. Just tons and tons of rock. You know, it must get windy up here because someone has built one of, a sh one of these mini shelter things. <laughs> and there's an even minier one. And I don't know why. Quite, quite intri I mean, I know why, it's because of the wind. But today it's so unwindy, I'm just surprised. Here at the top of my mountain, I got this micro reflector. I don't know what the heck it does, but it's at 10,000 feet. And uh, it's just a giant panel of metal as far as I can tell. Here we go. Snow in August, and I'm in it. Super crazy. <laughs> nice. Jacob and I have climbed up on the Skyway Trail above uh, Shelf Lake to see the sunset. It is beautiful up here tonight. There's a large meadow up here. Makes a good place to observe. Just gorgeous. The sun is going. Going. Still going. And gone. Amazing. Good morning. Welcome to day four of our Yellowstone backpacking trip. And welcome to Shelf Lake. <laughs> it is beautiful here this morning. What a beautiful day. And uh, so our plans today are to pack up camp here, which uh, we've been at for a couple days and it's been lovely. And uh, tonight we are headed, or today we are headed over to High Lake, which is going to be a, a eight mile hike, pretty long compared to what we've been doing, but uh, it'll be fine. So we're heading out. We just finished up breakfast here in the food prep area and are uh, almost all packed up and ready to go. And the lake is so beautiful this morning. Man, we have eight miles to go today. We're gonna climb about 2000 feet after descending nearly 2000 feet. So that's gonna be fun, <laughs> but uh, we'll see how it goes. Saying goodbye to Shelf Lake, the sign says the North Fork Specimen Creek Trail is 2.1 miles. That's where we're headed. Downhill all the way. All right, we've come to our trailhead. We have descended two, a little more than two miles and 1,000, what was it? 400 and something feet. 1,400 feet. So there's the uh, stream crossing and then we begin climbing again, but we're gonna take a break 
and uh, have a snack and adjust our shoes a little bit at the stream crossing. That's the horse crossing. Looks like there might be a footpath crossing up here. All right, we are climbing up towards Crescent Lake. It's a beautiful trail right through here. Beautiful forest. The grade's not too bad. I see Crescent Lake through the trees. Jacob was cooling off in the lake. <laughs> All right, let's try swimming. All right, we just left Crescent Lake. There was a good bit of other people there. None of whom were actually staying there. We just met up with people all going different directions. All for lunch. All for lunch. So that was very fun. It's always fun to talk to people. Um, so now we're going past another little lake off to the side here. And then we'll be uh, heading up to the pass. Well, one thing I wasn't planning on, because I didn't study the map this close, as Jacob did, there's first a steep descent before you start ascending up to the, up to the uh, pass. So we are going down, 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 which we'll just have to make right back up again. We have stopped to have a snack and refill water bottles at this lovely little alpine lake. It's been quite a climb up here and we still have 400 feet to go. Climbing up out of the valley. It's very pretty, but it's sunny and hot today. It's just hot, <laughs> climbing doesn't help. <laughs> yeah. So, Super. been lots of water breaks, so. But we keep going up. Yet another little alpine lake. Should be our last one before the pass just still uphill we're getting tired <laughs> hey we're starting to see some views it's been a long climb for them oh man holy crap <laughs> yeah. Woo! wow so this is the other side of the mountain <laughs> yeah, that's the uh, East Specimen Creek drainage then. Mm -hmm. Nice. And that big mountain over there must be Electric Peak. Yeah. I bet. After many, many ups, downs, ups, downs, ups, ups. <laughs> We are running out of mountain to climb, as Jacob just said. So this should be it. Yeah, we made it. This should be the high point Woo. and the viewpoint. Yeah. Woohoo! We made it. Oh, oh man. How about that? Ninety four hundred feet ish. Oh, the breeze feels nice. Woo! Does it ever.
big meadow. Whew. Wow, look at that. Woo! High Lake. We are camped at the far end. High Lake. Here's our campsite for the night, right next to the lake. This is the outlet for the lake, running off that way. And here is the food prep and food storage area. You can see our bags are hung up there on the pole. A nice view of the lake. All right, we found the water access point here. <laughs> you gotta kinda go out and balance on the logs. Um, but it's so muddy on the shore, it's hard to get to the water otherwise. So we uh, filtered some water and are about to make supper. Jacob decided to take a swim. Oh my gosh, it is muddy. Yeah, it's kind of shallow and muddy. I'm not sure if you're cleaner going in or out. <laughs> I don't know. All right, we are sitting here cooking dinner. Jacob is having chicken pesto pasta, his all time favorite. And I am having lasagna with meat sauce, which is my all time favorite. It's favorites night because it's our last night on trail. <laughs> All right. The sun has uh, just set on us, but it's still shining on the hills surrounding us. But it's time to eat supper. The sun has set, but the lake is still beautiful. Funny, I didn't think it was going to storm tonight, but I picked the, I was looking for spots and I was like, mm -hmm. this is about as protected of a spot as there is. Yeah, I'm glad you found a protected spot. Because mm -hmm. I think we're going to get at least a little wind. Yeah. So but, there, but like right now, if you're quiet, you can hear the wind blowing. Yep. Yeah, it's not blowing here. That's nice. Yep. The thunder's still, lightning's still pretty far away. It's taking a long time for the thunder to get here. A little thunder out there, lightning. Not too bad. At least down in the valley here, we're protected from lightning, and the trees around us should protect us from wind. Glad I'm not up on top of the mountain. Yeah, that's for sure. It's cozy in here. Good morning! It is day five of our backpacking trip in Yellowstone and uh, today we are uh, getting camp packed up here and about to make breakfast and we are at High Lake and the goal for today is to return to the trailhead at um, Specimen Creek. <laughs> it's about a uh, 10 mile hike today which is the longest mileage day we have had however uh, it's all downhill so it should be doable. All right, let's get going. Jacob is filtering some water. It is a little cloudy today and cool, but it'll be nice for hiking. Still a beautiful lake. We're just about ready to head out. These have to be some of the biggest mushrooms I've ever seen. 
Look at this. They're huge. Huh. Bizarre. It's very quiet here this morning. Just a little wind up in the trees. All right, we are setting out. Say goodbye to High Lake. We are headed down East Specimen Creek. That was Camp WD4. We are now leaving Yellowstone National Park temporarily, headed into the Gallatin National Forest. Sun is peeking through the clouds. It's very cheery looking. All right, we have come to the intersection with the Mill Creek Trail, but we're going to stay on the Sportsman's Lake Trail and head for the Specimen Creek Trailhead in 9.7 miles. We are also re-entering Yellowstone National Park. All right. We're hiking through big meadows here. Got a stream crossing here. Just go around to the side here, it looks like. There we go. No problems. The hike down from High Lake so far has been beautiful with deep old forest, mature forest, highlighted with open meadows. It's been very pretty. All right, we have another creek crossing here. Just gotta go across on the log. Yeah, I just noticed right down here, a wolf track right there. Wow. Yep. Last night. Okay, we have come to the junction with the Sportsman Lake Trail. Goes off to the left. But we're taking the Specimen Creek Trail 6.7 miles to the right. Just past the junction with the Sportsman Lake Trail, we come to Campsite WD6. It's off that way. We're not going to explore it, but it's on the edge of a giant meadow. I hear it's very pretty. And shortly we should come to, uh, I think it's WD1. Here's the, uh, the western end of that huge meadow that uh, Campsite WD6 is at the other end of. Very cool. We're plunging back into the forest. How very nice. Ugh. Pretty stream. Well, we found where WD1 is, right after the stream crossing. But we're not gonna go check it out either. We're gonna keep moving.
We're following along the stream now. It's very pleasant. Especially now that the sun has come out, the clouds have mostly evaporated. It's very nice. We've now entered the area that uh, has been burnt off and has new forest growing. So now the trees are all small and young and all the, uh, the old ones are laying all over the place. All right, we've got a nice bridge here again. That's lovely. It looks like a jog over and there's another one. It's moving pretty fast. Jacob is soaking his feet in the creek. We're gonna eat lunch right here. We have just finished up lunch and we're about to head back down the trail. We are now passing into the uh, open fire burn area where there's tall dead trees still standing and lots of little ones sprouted up. One nice thing about this burn area, you can see up into the valleys and everything. coming up upon the uh, the West Specimen Creek Junction and I think we can see our first night's campsite down in the valley down here. Yeah, the, the uh, food prep area was in a clump of trees down there. In addition to our campsite down in the valley, now we can also see the spires of Black Butte off there in the distance. It's amazing because we were higher up than that on top of Bighorn Peak. We were looking down on that mountain before. It's very cool. It's just so beautiful and open here. You can really see nicely. So many views, makes it hard to hike. Way up the valley there, you can see Sheep Mountain. Jacob climbed up to the top of that. Very cool. We just came to where we're supposed to cross the uh, Specimen Creek and the bridge is gone. Well, that's, that's gonna be challenging. <laughs> Well, we decided we're just going to have to wait across. A little chilly? What's that? Is it a little chilly? It's not too bad, actually. Oh, good. Oh, it's plenty cold. <laughs> across the stream down there, put our shoes back on, and have hiked up here to the junction. That was the Sportsman Lake Trail, and now we're back on the Specimen Creek Trail, headed for the trailhead in two miles. That way. I forgot to say that we have completed the Specimen Creek Loop. Woohoo! Woo yeah! All right, back to the trailhead. Well, you can hear the highway in the distance, so we're getting close. Wow, look at all the cars here now. Yeah. Man, there was nobody here when we came. One car. 
car. Yeah, one other car. It's like a parking lot now. How about that? I bet there's more horses out. Yep. I see another trailer. Yep. A couple more trailers. Yeah. Gosh, there's a lot of cars here. All right, the trailhead is in sight. And so we have completed our Yellowstone backpacking trip Ooh. in the Specimen Creek Loop plus the piece of the Sky Ram. That was an awesome, epic hike, one for the books. And uh, thank you so much for coming along with us on this one. It's been a great time.